Warehouse followers. Um, today we're going to be doing a dirty paint pour on one of our wood surfaces here. Um, so this is our heart and I did go ahead and I did tape off the back with some masking tape. You can use painter's tape as well. Um, I just taped off the sides and then I took an X-Acto knife and cut off any of the access. Uh, another thing I did do is I went ahead and pre-primed this um, using gesso. I did a couple layers because wood does absorb paint really easily and I wanted to make sure that this uh, flow, this paint pour just flowed a lot better. So I'm going to be using four different colors plus a titanium white. So I have the cobalt blue, turquoise, we're using the violet, and then the magenta. And I am just using cheap paint today, and I did mix those with um, the pouring medium from Deco Art. So let's get started. So I got an empty cup here, and I'm going to start by pouring some white. I'm going to bring this up so you guys can kind of see this is very, the consistency of this flows really well. You can see when it just drops back in there, just blends right in. So I'm going to go ahead and put some white first. Then I'm going to go ahead and put in this cobalt blue. And then we're going to take this turquoise. It's all just going into one cup. I'm going to do the violet. And then magenta. All right, so one thing I am going to go ahead and do just to help the flow on this uh, wood surface is I'm going to put a little bit of this white just to kind of, this just initially making it wet. Um, it just helps the flow of the paint. I'm going to, I'm sewing this out with my hand because I tend to put a little bit too much on my surfaces, so, okay. You can totally just tilt and you will get the same effect. I just tend to put a little bit too much on my painting, so my paint pour, so I wanna make sure I have a good surface to start with. All right, so I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna lift up my surface, and then I'm just gonna And then when I go to pull up, I'm going to kind of pull it and spread the paint. Okay. And now I'm going to do that tilting. Just really covering all the surface. I don't really see too much of that magenta coming through. I didn't put very much of it. But it probably blended into that purple some. I usually also like to add a little bit of um, metallic, but we did not do that today, so. Okay. Now, if you have a cup, you can put this on a cup, and you're going to want to raise it up some. I'm going to grab, I have a couple cups here. Give me a second. So you'll want to have a couple cups set there so it can set on the edges. This heart does have um, some little feet on it, so I have to kind of, it's got little bumps on the back side, so I got to make sure it's setting nice and flat. One thing with the medium pouring is it does help these cells form, as you can kind of see they're popping up on here. 
But I really like the way it looks. Kind of that marbly look. And then when it dries, I'm going to go ahead and show it to you when it's dried. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a vinyl on it and kind of make it a little bit more of a home decor item. Just going to get some of these pieces. I have a couple pieces here that aren't fully covered. Might have to help it a little. You don't want to have too much paint on here either, because um, then your paint can, or your surface and paint will crack a little. Ooh, you can see that magenta is coming out over here. Just tilting it back and forth just until I kind of get everything covered in the desire I want on the surface. All right, so we'll let it dry and then we'll show you some little add-ons you can do to make it a little extra special. Ooh, look at all the cells. I can't wait to see what this looks like when it dries. All the cells will pop through. I'll see the pink coming through and the purples and the blues. I really like the way that the blues swirled together here. Okay, you guys, so this is what the finished item looks like. I know it's kind of hard to tell, so I'm gonna bring it up. Hopefully, you can see how that magenta came out in those cells, and I just really, really love it. Um, I like the dark purple through here, but I think I'm going to go ahead and kind of customize it a little bit more. I'm, I'm going to put on a vinyl. I'm going to do Your Vibe Attracts Your Tribe, um, and then I'm going to put a photo on there. I'm going to put a photo of all my friends. I wish I had one that was a little bit, that went this way, because that would be really fun and nice, because then I would kind of compliment it a little better. But I could always put a nice little small square one later, but this is all I have right now. Um, another one I wanted to show you guys is, you guys can definitely put, friends and family are always welcome here, a little cute um, welcome sign for all those who come in your house. 